is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'm going to show you how to install an end of the run receptacle and I'm going to discuss how to troubleshoot an end of the run receptacle. You can always tell an end of the run receptacle because there's only one cable and it's a good thing I have my Fluke 1 AC voltage detector because before you start anything I always check make sure the electricity is off and it is. So this is a Carlin adjuster box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw it out like this until it's nice and flush. Just like that. Yeah, really fast. You hook the ground, in this case it is a bare ground wire to the green grounding terminal. You hook the white neutral wire to the silver terminal. You hook the black hot wire to the brass terminal. See, it's end of the run. And if there's ever anything wrong with an end of the run receptacle, you check out, see if anything's wrong with the receptacle itself. You look, in, you look at the, the terminal connections, make sure everything's tight. You test it out. And if it isn't the end of the run receptacle, it's an upstream receptacle where the problem is. So now that we know how to wire and install a end of the run receptacle, let's discuss how you would troubleshoot one. This is an end of the run receptacle right here. I did a previous video on it and uh, this is a really neat receptacle. It's a USB charging receptacle. So uh, that's a, a neat thing and I have a video on how to install them. So let's say that this receptacle tests as having no ground. You plug a receptacle tester into it and it says no ground. Okay, so turn off the circuit breaker, open this up, and see if the ground is properly connected or if it's broken or something like that. If not, then being that it's end of the run, you'll need to find out what receptacles are on this 20 amp countertop circuit. And when you turn off the circuit breaker, you find that out by figuring out which ones are off. The ones that are off are the ones that are on the circuit that are off. This particular circuit includes this receptacle right here, which we know is end of the run. And then there is a receptacle behind this stove to run the little uh, lights and timers and so forth. It, it's a gas stove, but it's just a, a low amperage draw. And there's a receptacle behind it that is plugged into. And then last but not least, there is this box that includes two receptacles. So for troubleshooting purposes, I would first check out the end of the run box and then I check out the middle of the run box behind the stove and then I check out the two receptacle box. One, two, three, just like that. And if you still haven't found your problem, then you have to go to the panel and look for a ground that is not attached or is broken or is loose. So you start downstream and you'll work your way upstream all the way to the panel if necessary. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.